डियर स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू दिस क्लास ऑफ कार्बन कार्बन टू ग्रुप डिस्कनेक्शन इन दिस वी विल बी टेकिंग अप द वन थ्री डाई फंक्शनलाइज कंपाउंड एंड ऑल्सो द एल्फा बीटा अनसेचुरेटेड कार्बोनाइल कंपाउंड बिकॉज दे टू आर हैविंग दिस टाइप ऑफ अ टू ग्रुप सी सी डिस्कनेक्शन कार्बन कार्बन डिस्कनेक्शन इन अदर वर्ड्स वी आर डिस्कनेक्टिंग अ बॉन्ड बिटवीन टू कार्बन taking into account the presence of two functional groups which are present at the first and third position relative to each other so let's first of all start with the 1 3 difunctional compounds where the 1 3 difunctional compounds these can be con uh, disconnected uh, directly direct disconnection is possible of this first of all and secondly what we will be dealing with this in the, these one three di functional compounds where direct disconnection is possible we will be taking up the one three di carbonyl compounds as well as besides the di di carbonyl we will also be taking into consideration the beta hydroxy so the di carbonyl as well as the beta hydroxy and when we talk about beta hydroxy carbonyl compounds then indirectly we are also talking about these compounds which can be obtained by dehydration that means enones so we will also be talking about enones because dehydration of beta hydroxy oh and h Minus H two O which leads to the formation of these enones. So let us see the direct disconnection. This is the direct disconnection one three di carbonyl. When they are disconnected, they will obviously lead to one carbon getting the negative charge and the other the positive charge. the one having the negative charge is such that it has an acidic hydrogen so in the presence of a base h positive will leave and a carbene ion will be formed in the words we are talking about an enolate the synthetic equivalent will be an enolate and where the the other part of the carbon carbon disconnection between these two functional groups is positively charged that means we are talking about an acyl entity in other words we are talking about the acylation of these enolates so this is ch3 co and any negative group over here it can be oc2h5 it can be a halide so this type of a disconnection in reverse will lead to the formation of this target molecule so this is again carbon carbon disconnection taking into consideration two functional groups here it is the di carbonyl and the level is 1 2 3 so it is a 1 3 di functional c c disconnection forming an enolate as the synthetic equivalent and the other is the acylate it can be acyl halide it can be an ester so in the presence of a base this will react to give us this target molecule now the other disconnection which is the beta hydroxy will form, be forming similarly on disconnection the 13 uh, di carbon 13 uh, Uh, uh these two functional groups one is carbonyl one is beta hydroxy hmm? alpha beta so beta hydroxy carbonyl so this again will be forming one carbon negative and a carbon positive as we can see the carbon negative will be again forming what are enolate and the positive one will be forming r because ch now this is oh so oh means minus an h so this will form a carbonyl compound here namely an aldehyde so this was again a disconnection of 
वन थ्री वन थ्री डाई फंक्शनल वन फंक्शनैलिटी इज द कार्बोनाइल एंड दी अदर इज दी ओ एच सिचुएटेड वन टू थ्री विद रिस्पेक्ट टू ईच अदर ऑन दिस कनेक्शन दिस वन विल बी द कार्बन नेगेटिव एंड दी अदर विल बी द कार्बन पॉजिटिव द कार्बन नेगेटिव कैन बी जनरेटेड बाय द प्रेजेंस ऑफ अ इन द प्रेजेंस ऑफ अ बेस और इनोलेट्स नाउ दिस over here this will lead to the formation of an enolate and this will be a carbonyl here the aldehyde because it's carbon positive this will share a bond with oxygen so oxygen will get a positive charge because lone pair of electrons which can be dispelled by elimination of h positive and this beta hydroxy when we are talking about so indirectly we are also talking about the enones because beta hydroxy can form enones by elimination now let's come to this interesting example here which is a perfumery compound it is an important perfumery compound quite expensive also and as you can see this again represents a case of 1 3 disconnection di carbonyl this time so we will be getting this negative to stabilize this enolate and at the same time the positive which can be having this synthetic equivalent that is the ester oet so ch3coet which is ester and if you recollect this will remind you of claisen condensation as we get this is the retrosynthesis so the synthesis as it goes the synthesis now this is our c6h5 cocs3 in the presence of a base it will lead to the formation of this enolate because h positive will be removed so, uh, o negative here h positive removed so we the electron pair left here so this is an enolate this enolate will now act upon this carbon positive which is the other synthetic equivalent that is our ester so the carbon positive here it will attack and lead to the formation of this di carbonyl which in the presence of because this is all a reversible reaction as you can see so in the presence of the this ethoxide ion here again what will happen this will abstract an h positive from here because this is still it can it is reversible so it can go back so as to make it come forward so when it abstracts an h positive so as to make it more stable because we are moving towards stability that is why the forward reaction is taking place hmm. so this will remove an h positive in from here so again we will be getting a stable delocalized enolate here h positive will be removed by c2h5 o negative so we will get this double bond will shift here the electron pair will uh, be delocalized at this position so we will get a stable delocalized enolate now this time and now as you can see since this is stable now this after this the reaction will no longer be re, uh, in equilibrium or uh, reversible it will go forward and in the presence of water will lead to the formation of this target molecule so this can only occur via this through this because as you can see this and this are the same but this here is not stable until unless it stabilizes by elimination of this h positive so then only the reaction reaches completion the reaction reaches completion so this what is depicted here has been formed by first elimination of h positive from here and this is an example of our claisen condensation now uh, here i have uh, just for your notice written example which you will see ch3 co ch2 co et 
Does it remind you of anything? This is a work problem for you. And as we know, the disconnections again are what? Of the 1,3 difunctional nature because there are two functional groups, 1,3 dicarbonyl. And again, 1,3 dicarbonyl. This is very easy, a very simple problem because once it is disconnected, we will be getting what we had discussed previously in the introduction, an enolate and an acylate. So it will be basically an acylation of this enolate. This other disconnection which I am discussing here is another example of a 1,3 dicarbonyl, carbon-carbon disconnection, two group disconnection. One is this carbonyl, one is this, uh, this other carbonyl. Now when they are disconnected, we will be getting one positive end where we can write, because this is a ring, so I am taking, this will be one positive, the other negative. Here we can write an ethoxide, so this will be an ester again, and here C negative with H positive will give us this. So now what have we formed basically? We have formed a very good starting reagent that is the synthetic equivalent is a symmetrical diester. And being a diester, what will happen when we are trying to synthesize in the presence of a base, this is the starting material, this diester, this will lead to the formation by forming a negative and a positive that is one side will be the carbon positive, the other the carbon negative and intramolecular condensation will take place and hence and we will get this final product that is our target molecule will be formed and as you can see that this is a very neat reaction intramolecular condensation reactions of this type are very neat reactions and very good reactions and also very quick and easy. So this was an easy disconnection uh, leading to the formation of the target molecule at the difunctional 1,3 difunctional carbon-carbon disconnection. Moving on to another example which we discussed earlier that we will be dealing with also beta hydroxycarbonyl compounds because beta hydroxycarbonyl compounds at 1 and 3 positions situated with one uh, respect to each other are also similar disconnection at a lower oxidation level. So rather than having a, a C double bond O over here we have got an OH. So a beta hydroxy disconnection will be similar 1,3 difunctional disconnection carbon-carbon. When it is disconnected as we can see we will be having a negative end and a positive and it is very clear as to where to place the negative and here to place the positive because the positive at this end this will of course, this is enolate and this positive at this end will lead to an elimination of H positive and formation of a carbonyl compound. And if you look at these two clearly, they are one and the same. In other words, this again it is a condensation between when we try to synthesize it, similar condensation reaction between same. This is also cyclopentanone 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. I mean, sorry, uh, pentanone, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and this 2 is a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 pentanone. So, they are similar, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. The carbonyl group is also located in the same position. So, this is looking a little tricky this molecule, the target molecule, but, it, but it's not so because it can be disconnected to form these two. That means in other words our synthesis will be that two of these in the presence of a base will tend to give us the target molecule by similar steps which were discussed earlier. That is one will form an enolate and the other will be forming a carbon positive. So these two will condense together and lead to the formation of this product or the target molecule. Now let's see the alpha-beta unsaturated carbonyl compounds. The disconnections which are possible here is because uh, we will be taking into account this time the enones. Why the enones? Uh, seeing the structure of this because uh, they can easily be formed in the presence of an acid or a base, H2O is eliminated, that is water, and 
we easily get an enone. Now, if this is our target molecule, let's see the uh, synthesis of this uh, enone uh, as to how this is our target molecule. So the first thing in this analysis will be that we will be doing a functional group interconversion. That is, means that uh, we will be doing a functional group interconversion. Why? Because in reverse, we will be going for elimination, formation of this double bond minus H2O. Hmm. Now, once this has been achieved, so the 1, 3 disconnection, all the alpha, beta unsaturated ketones therefore imply that we are not looking at one functional group. Remember, this is one functional group. Now you'll be wondering as to why I'm talking about carbon carbon two group disconnection. Why? Because this other, uh, this double bond, this has been formed by virtue of this other functional group by dehydration. And it's an easy method. So whenever we are talking about enones, we are talking about two functional groups and the, one of them is dehydrated, that is this OH. So we are talking about basically beta hydroxy carbonyl compounds. So this will dehydrate to give us this enone. So we are talking about two functional group, not one functional group in retrospect when we are moving towards the synthesis. So now these are positioned at one and three position. So again, a disconnection, as you very well know by now, will lead to the formation of one, two, three, a positive charge here. So this one, this is acetone, CH3, CH3CO. Similarly, a negative charge here, CH3, CH3CO. So we will get two such molecules and this, the synthesis, as can be seen, therefore, is simple. So these are interesting compounds, which can easily be connected while going back if we know our disconnections, our retrosynthesis and our condensation reactions. So this, in the presence of an acid, will give us this uh, compound, that is uh, OH and C double bond O. Again, you are reminded of the condensation reactions. This, therefore, will eliminate a molecule of water and lead to the formation of this target molecule which has just one functionality but remember there was another functionality over here therefore we are talking about carbon carbon two group one three disconnection difunctional two functional groups now moving on to this other example another such example which is this is very important. This compound is not only important by way of its application, but also by way of its use in synthesis, but also as far as the disconnection go. A very interesting disconnection because as soon as you look towards this, it's a lactone. This is a lactone. So what will we do? COO, lactone. Hmm? So we will disconnect it. Alpha, this is alpha to this carbonyl, so alpha, beta, and at the beta position, place an oxygen because two double, this two valencies have to be satisfied. So what do we get? Once again, two similar molecules of the same lactone. This, in the presence of a base, will lead to the formation after condensation of the target molecule. So this is looking as though it's a difficult disconnection, but it's a simple disconnection. If you consider these two valencies and place an oxygen over here and disconnect it at the 1,3 level, 1,3 dicarbonyl level because carbonyl here and a carbonyl here, this, will, this indicates a carbonyl. It is not looking like a carbonyl, but once you disconnect, you will place an oxygen. So this is again a 1,3 disconnection leading to these two carbonyl functionalities, which are one and the same. And these on condensation in the presence of a base will lead to the formation of a target molecule. Now this retrosynthesis which I have shown here and the target molecule is a very important French uh, perfume ingredient, very expensive also. So this target molecule again shows what enal, en double bond and aldehyde and this is showing what an alpha beta unsaturation alpha beta unsaturation on disconnection we will lead to a carbon positive and a carbon negative and as we know therefore uh, we, when we once we disconnect it so this disconnection 
here will form again C six H five C H. Place a double bond. Uh, place double bond oxygen over here at this position. So this will be again a an alpha beta unsaturated carbonyl compound. This alpha beta unsaturated carbonyl compound on disconnection will lead to C six H five C H O and C H O. CH2, 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 CH3. So basically, these two will be the synthetic. Now I haven't written the charges over here because it's needless. We know how the disconnection ta is taking place, where we insert an oxygen over here. I mean, we consider an oxygen. So a synthetic equivalent of C6H5CHO will be formed, and the other will be the aldehyde. So these two, that is. One, two, three, four, five, six. This aldehyde will. You have to please count the carbon so that you don't lose any carbon. So uh, while connecting it back in the presence of a base, this will again lead by means of a condensation reaction to the formation of the target molecule. And this condensation again, we are familiar with these condensations. One will be again the carbon negative, and the other will be the carbon positive. So these two carbon positive, and because this cannot form a carbon carbon negative and carbon positive, this cannot form uh, this one a carbon negative. Hmm. So because this does not have any alpha hydrogen, acidic hydrogen, so only one product will predominate. So on condensation, we will get this unsaturated. Aldehyde condensation, which will lead to the formation of first a bifunctional group, and then by because an aldol will be formed, and by uh, losing an H two O, it will lead to the formation of this unsaturated aldehyde. So today we did all these disconnections, which were the two group carbon carbon disconnection bifunctional. And the difunctionality was one three difunctional, where we also saw to this alpha beta unsaturated because alpha alpha beta unsaturated carbonyl compounds indirectly are pointing towards two functional groups one an OH and the other a carbonyl. The OH and H elimination leads to the formation of this alpha beta unsaturation. So though it's seeming one functional group, there are two functional group groups which we are taking into account while we are disconnecting. So that is all for today. Good day.